The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales would like to invite everyone to their newly renovated events hall, a beautiful 9,600 square foot facility that features a 5,500 square foot main hall and a separate 600 square foot conference room. Renters have access to our huge kitchen, large stage, tables, chairs, bar, and covered outdoor cooking. So plan your next wedding, party, conference, and more at The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. You could be driving. Happy Honda Days are back for the most wonderful time of the year at Team Honda. The savings are high on every new Honda. And with our Buy Here, Sell Here program, you'll get top value for your trade. Happy Honda Days from Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Start today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your world since the last opportunity we had to spend a little time with you and yours. It is the day after the nationwide commemoration of the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It is a day in this country where we reflect on his accomplishments and contributions to the betterment of our society and a day that many of us choose to use as much as possible opportunities to provide service to our fellow human beings. It is sadly another day where young black men continue at a record pace to kill one another. Yesterday, just here in the capital city of Baton Rouge, five different shootings, three people dead, eight people wounded. I was hoping and you, 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 you can't blame an old guy for wishful thinking. And this occurred to me yesterday. I was hoping that on this day, maybe my young fellow Americans of color would decide to take a day off from killing each other. As unrealistic, obviously, as that was, you can't blame a guy for wishful thinking. Of course, now, in retrospect, if Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, arguably, the holiest of days in our society, the day where we pause to give thanks, if we can't stop killing one another on those days, MLK Day doesn't stand a chance. 17-year-old murdered. 
a father, after a physical altercation with his adult son, murders his own flesh and blood. I don't know when the community most affected by violent crime is going to decide that we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Last year, a record number of homicides. And we are starting this year with an alarming continuation of this horrible, ugly tragedy. You know, it says something to me that in this land of opportunity, the media and those we elect to represent us just don't seem to care. They will push all sorts of issues to the forefront, which is yet another example about how out of touch they are with everyday Americans. They will push all sorts of things to the forefront. White supremacy, voting rights, transgender acceptance, you name it. But the one issue most affecting everyday Americans and what is arguably the most dedicated, loyal part of the Democrat Party African Americans, you don't hear anything from them regarding this self imposed genocide. The numbers, <laughs> I was going to say, are startling. They were startling years ago, and it continues unabated. Of course, I guess that's kind of in lockstep with the attention being paid to this ugly phenomenon by the mainstream media and those on the left. You know, at some point, America, black folk had better wake up and realize they don't care about us. And if you don't care about yourself? Well, there's really no other way to say it. We're on the way out. Last year in this country, 40%, the leading cause of death for young black males ages 15 to 39 was homicide. You heard me right. 40% of black males ages 15 to 39, the number one cause of death was homicide. Now extrapolate this number, if you will. 40% murdered. Remove them from the equation. If law enforcement is able to do its job to the best of its ability, that's another 30 to 35 percent of black males ages 15 to 39 that will be serving multiple decades in prison. So you remove them from the equation. So now you're up to about 75% of the baby makers, the ones who will continue the race, removed from the equation. 
of the 25 or so percent left, now you remove the percentage of those with no education and no interest in getting an education. You remove those serving long prison sentences for other crimes. Remove those who are hopelessly hooked on drugs. Remove those who are living alternative lifestyles because they ain't making no babies. And now you're down roughly to single digits. Oh, and if that weren't enough, your friends on the left that you vote for all the time, they've made it possible and encourage you of the single digits left that do engage in the act of procreation, they make it so you can kill the babies before they even get out of the womb. It is a national tragedy. It is a national disgrace. And the folks you elect Democrats are amazingly quiet on the issue. Now, I am one of those people that for a very long time has been of the opinion you can tell what people are truly about more so by what they don't say than what they do. For Democrats, who black folks vote for overwhelmingly to be quiet on the issue of the genocide that is occurring in this country, self-inflicted, should tell you, folk don't care about you. You are a useful tool to further a political agenda. You know, when you have a dear friend that is doing something destructive, if they're truly a friend, you find a time and a place to sit down and talk with them, to tell them where they're heading and offer help for whatever the problem happens to be. When's the last time you remember Democrats coming in and saying, y'all, we can't stand to see black people killing each other in these record numbers. We have to stop this. We got to fix this. What do you need? We will make all the resources available because this reflects horribly on our party and our society. When is the last time you heard a Democrat say that? It's rhetorical. You don't have to answer. Actually, you can't because they haven't. And yet, <laughs> you're going to still look for the letter D behind the name as the sole criteria for who you support. First break of today's show. I can only wonder what Martin would think of what we've become. Quick break, and we're back with more. It is Tuesday, second segment of the show. Time for another edition of Now That's Just Stupid. That's next, when we continue the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. 
Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. You're dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. You're dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. New to the show, new to the station, new to the area. We have instituted a new segment on the show in response to the ever-growing, rapidly expanding level of stupidity in our country. We're not talking ordinary, everyday, S-T-U-P-I-D. What we're talking about here is an entirely different level. Hence, the spelling S-T-O-O-P-I-D as in stupid. Above and beyond ordinary stupid. You know, as you get older in life, you understand those that came before us and the wisdom they tried to impart to us, due in part to the fact that we see things more clearer in the future than we did in the past. For example, then President Ronald Reagan uttered statements that to this day seem to become more and more true. For example, one, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We see that recurring on a regular basis. Another Reagan statement. <laughs> the nine scariest words you can hear. Quote, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> How many times have you heard your buddy Clarence allude to the fact that the federal government does not have any money of its own. They don't produce or manufacture one single product that you can put on a shelf, people buy, and you turn a profit. Nothing. The only money they have is money they take from you. Taxes. So I guess in retrospect, it shouldn't really be that big of a surprise that these folks, the federal government, are hands down the absolute worst when it comes to spending your money. For example, <laughs> the Kaiser Foundation 
went back and did some digging recently. In the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, the media informed us, oh, there's a danger that COVID is going to overrun the hospitals. We're not going to have enough beds. People are going to be dying out on the streets, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. You remember all the rhetoric. So what did the federal government do? They spent $100 billion, with the B as in bugs, $100 billion of your tax dollars to increase hospital bed capacity. Well, Clarence, how could you, how, how could you object to that? We got to have hospital beds to serve all these people and, and keep Americans alive from COVID. Well, here's the problem. After spending $100 billion of your tax dollars, <laughs> we now have, wait for it, 50,000 fewer hospital beds than we did before they spent the money. Go figure. Oh, due in large part to the federal government mandating that health care workers take the shot. And they said, no, thank you. I'll find another job. One hundred billion with the B as in <laughs> expletive deleted of your tax dollars. Poof. In thin air. Gone. Like magic. <laughs> now, that ain't magic. That's just stupid. Secondly, <laughs> I saw it this morning on the way out of the house. Commercial for Jeopardy. America's educational institution. The game show where knowledge is king. The game show where we separate fact from fiction. And of course, in this commercial, who do they show but Amy Schneider? <laughs> For those that don't know, Amy Schneider is the dude that thinks he's a woman. So Jeopardy now, running this commercial, is celebrating the, wait for it, all-time female winner on Jeopardy. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, listen, y'all. If it wasn't so stupid, to begin with, I've got to wonder if the producers, the powers that be involved with Jeopardy, if they understand or if they purposely decided to erase all of the credibility that they've established over the years. Only the left, only the left would think on a show that Americans have watched for decades, going to it to find out fact from fiction, truth from falsehood, Acquiring knowledge. You spend all this time every day, well, Monday through Friday, with the expressed purpose of engaging in an exercise of knowledge. 
And these very same people can't figure out the difference between a man and a woman. You know, a halfway intelligent person would have to wonder <laughs> if Jeopardy got it wrong on this, what else have they been getting wrong? It's awfully, awfully hard, y'all, to look at Jeopardy the same anymore. Because as a boomer, I grew up in an era where Jeopardy was pretty much the only game show that focused solely on the acquisition of knowledge. We don't deal with none of that fiction stuff here. This is Jeopardy, by God. We deal with the facts. Well, the fact of the matter is, bruh is a dude. Why are you insulting me with a commercial showing the face of a dude dressed up like a woman and then going to tell me she is the all-time female champion. Eh, deduction. Uh, Jeopardy? Really? All of your credibility in 30 freaking seconds, one commercial just threw all of your credibility right out the window. Uh, yes, I'll take human anatomy for 200, please, Alex. <sighs> I'll do you even better. Oh, it's a daily double. Okay, how about, um, uh, let's do chromosomes for 500, please, Alex. How about, um, genitalia for a thousand, please, Alex? <sighs> The old adage, and y'all know me, you know I'm big on my adages, <laughs> but this one is spot on with Jeopardy. It is often better to be thought a fool and keep your mouth shut than it is to open it and remove all doubt. The highest female winning champion in Jeopardy history. Listen, y'all, I get it. The woke crowd, they all want something they can hang their hat on for diversity and inclusivity and, and all the sensitivity, all that, you know what, all of that. I get it. That's what they do. That's who they are. But for you to insult your entire audience, and after all these decades of building nothing but credibility to throw it out of the window because you can't tell the difference between a dude and a girl. If you can't figure that out, what the hell else are you? Are you? Uh, let me stop before I get in trouble. Bottom of the hour break. We'll get her done. <laughs> Speaking of stupid, going to talk some more Democrats next on the Clarence Bug Show. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You've waited, and now Toyota Thon is here at Team Toyota. Every new Toyota is on sale with end of year savings. And with our Buy Here, Sell Here program, we'll pay you top dollar for your trade. The selection and savings are right here for you at Team Toyota, I 12 at O'Neill. Hello, guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. 
It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And talk 1073 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. of the Clarence Buck Show. If you watched any news at all yesterday, you know that the commemoration of the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was front page all across the country, as it should be. His contributions to this great nation of ours were part of of a movement that ensured that America lived up to its true potential. It saddened me yesterday on two fronts. One, how the homicide of young black men perpetrated by other young black men pretty much continues unabated. But watching Democrats use his commemoration to push a false narrative. You've been hearing for a while now about this push for voting rights. And of course on MLK Day, what better opportunity to try and hoodwink America into giving Democrats in Washington the power to federalize elections? How many times have I told you people, these folk want to control every single aspect of your lives, everything from what you can and cannot eat can and cannot drink, where you can or cannot live, what kind of clothes you can wear, what kind of car you can drive, you name it, they want to control it. So yesterday was a marvelous opportunity for them to get in front of the cameras and get on TV and talk about the sanctity of the voting process. <laughs> Raphael Warnock, pastor, Democrat on MSNBC quote the good news is we have the tools in the Senate to do something about this the filibuster we can pass voting rights Democrats have the slimmest of majorities but we have a majority nonetheless sadly here it comes our colleagues on the other side have chosen power and politics over a commitment to democracy. They're trying to turn democracy on its head. Mad 
Maxine Waters. I won't insult you with her comments, but you pretty much know what they were already. Conservatives, Republicans, evil, racist, don't want black people to vote. You can pretty much sum up anything this buffoon says with those comments. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, never one to let a good opportunity go by. Let's get out and preach to America about the importance of ensuring the sanctity of the process. Then it occurred to me sitting there watching all this crap on TV yesterday. These are the same Democrats, y'all. The ones now who are so concerned about election integrity. These are the same bunch of clowns that in the last presidential election, and I ain't talking about what I heard, I watched this unfold with my very own two. 2.30 in the morning, in the dead of night, they stopped counting the votes. After they stopped counting the votes, something that has never in the history of this nation has it ever happened. After they stopped counting the votes, going against the law, they kicked out the Republican observers. After they stopped counting the votes, kicked out the opposition observers, then they took tape, newspaper, and cardboard and covered all the windows in the building. Then after they stopped counting the votes, kicked out the Republican observers, taped up the windows so you couldn't see inside, then unmarked vans pull up to the back of the building, and we see boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff unloaded and taken into the building. And you would dare, you would have the unmitigated gall to preach to me about the integrity of the process. How many times do I have to tell you? Just watch. Don't listen to what they say. Watch what they do. Because they're going to tell you, oh, our, our, our democracy is at stake here. This country is it, it, about to go down the drain. If we don't make sure that all the votes are counted and counted the right way, America is doomed. Huh. And in the most recent election, huh, you stopped counting the votes. Huh. See, <laughs> I don't know about you, but my gut tells me, and I have learned over many years to trust my gut. It's not going to lead you wrong. I've learned watching these clowns. <laughs> if it were you, those of you that are members of the community of faith, I doubt seriously if you would take seriously what the preacher has to say on Sunday if on Saturday night when you were hanging out at the club, the preacher was there too. Not trying to save anybody's soul, mind you, Ordering Crown and Coke, uh, make it a double. I doubt seriously 
that you would sit in that person's presence on Sunday and take serious what they have to say to you. So in this case, <laughs> for you to have the gall to sit there and preach to me about the sanctity of the process, the integrity of the process, making sure that every vote counts. And of course, you throw in the old oldie but goodie, one man, one vote. Let me ask you something. When is the last time you, if you happen to be a person of color, or anybody you know, when is the last time on election day you got a call said, man, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. What? What's going on? Man, I went to vote and they told me I was black so I couldn't vote. When's the last time you remember that happening? When is the last time you remember anybody who even remotely looks like me not being able to vote for anything other than, well, I'm sorry, your license says you no longer live at this address. So your precinct should be over here. When is the last time you heard that? And yet the media will hammer you with this incessantly. So at some point, <laughs> You have to ask yourself, what are they really trying to do? What's really, 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 really going on here? Of course, now, if you listen to the Democrats, God forbid, it's because black people can't get IDs. If you listen to them, it's because it's voter suppression. If you listen to them, <laughs> our democracy is at stake. If you believe any of that crap, call me up. Because I got a beachfront, mountaintop, snow-covered chalet in Brule, Louisiana that I'll let you have real cheap. <laughs> And you, on MLK Day of all days, you would dare preach to me about the sanctity of the process. Of course, they are Democrats. They are who they are, and they do what they do. Good news is, now you know it. Bad news is, they ain't going to stop anytime soon. They are who they are. They do what they do. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done. Come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Randa in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. 
The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales would like to invite everyone to their newly renovated events hall, a beautiful 9,600 square foot facility that features a 5,500 square foot main hall and a separate 600 square foot conference room. Renters have access to our huge kitchen, large stage, tables, chairs, bar, and covered outdoor cooking. So plan your next wedding, party, conference, and more at The Post on Church Point Road, Gonzales. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremonti's.com. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, um, when we find ourselves facing you insert problem here, whatever it happens to be, typically we consume information, we digest that information, and we come to a conclusion based on that information. Many times, however, it's one particular incident that will happen. Many times, out on the periphery, that really brings it all into focus for you. For example, we've all bemoaned the fact that Juvenile crime, violent crime, is skyrocketing and out of control. We've seen it as the ages of individuals involved with and victims of deadly violence continue to get lower and lower and lower. As much as it pains me to say it, it's nothing now to hear a 12-year-old, a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old shot and killed in an instance of deadly violence. It's nothing. Not the importance, mind you, but alluding to the fact that it's become so commonplace. Last week, the chief of police in Baker, Chief Carl Dunn, good guy, great guy, held a press conference to visually show us what his patrol men and women are up against every day. Chief Dunn, in this visualization, had in front of him a table full of illegal weapons. And then he got to the crux of the matter. Last week, 
in. And I know the mayor personally, loves some good folks in Baker. They will accept this in the spirit that it's given. Last week in little old Baker, they stopped a teenager driving a car for committing a moving violation. Stopped him one time that week and found an illegal gun in the car. So they confiscated it. A couple days later, stopped him again. Another traffic violation. And what did they find? Ding, ding, ding. Another illegal gun. A couple days later, stopped him again. What did they find in the car the third time they stopped him? An illegal handgun. And I guess because we like round numbers, in that week, they stopped him a fourth time. What did they find in the car? Oh, uh, a legal gun. Ding, ding, ding. Got a winner. <laughs> Marty said, bazooka? <laughs> he was driving a tank, actually. A teenager stopped four separate times in possession of four separate illegal handguns. Now, Here's where it gets particularly interesting. Chief Dunn said that this young person was not charged with a criminal offense because they couldn't determine whether or not the handguns were stolen. There was no purchase record to be found. I am in no way, shape, or form an attorney, never been a prosecutor, hadn't even slept at a Holiday Inn Express recently. But, oh, Terry say, I did. <laughs> Why weren't they charged with illegal possession of a firearm? Juveniles cannot legally possess, purchase, own, a handgun until they reach the age of 21. Why weren't they charged? So the story that I read came from WBRZ's website, the ABC affiliate News 2 in Baton Rouge. This told me more than anything about this story. After Chief Dunn held a press conference and revealed what he revealed. They then called juvenile court judge Adam Haney to find out what's going on in the juvenile court system. Quote, violent crime, particularly juvenile crime, is up across the country. This is not just a Baton Rouge problem. It's happening all over the place. Here it comes. And I don't think anyone has a good handle on what's driving this. There's your problem. A juvenile court judge says... I don't think anybody knows why this is happening. <laughs> why don't we start with Democrat policies that have made it possible and lucrative to not have a black father in the household? How about we talk about the Democrat-led defund the police movement. How about we talk about in Democrat 
run cities, how there's low bail or no bail that allows criminals to get right back on the streets. He doesn't have a clue and doesn't think anybody else has any handle on what's driving this. End of quote. Now, we're going to have to make a decision, y'all. Pure and simple. We are going to have to make a decision. Because what happens now is going to have a direct correlation to where we find ourselves in the future. We had an opportunity not so long ago. Y'all remember? We went to the polls and voted on whether or not we wanted to tax ourselves to build a brand new prison. And we turned it down. Now, Point Capi, Iberville, West Baton Rouge, and many other parishes are experiencing an explosion in juvenile crime, and we have no place to put them. I found it interesting that in this conversation, it's not just the physical facility that's being proposed, but you also have to have operating costs. It's one thing to build something, it's something else to pay salaries to keep it open. So they're wondering where, one, is this revenue stream gonna come from, and two, what are we gonna do about educational opportunities? Well, how about you get your butt in school that the taxpayers are already paying for and you won't have that problem? We're going to have to make a decision, y'all. Are we going to let this problem continue unabated? Because you do realize, do you not, the message we are sending to miscreants like this teenager stopped four different times and every freaking time, despite confiscating a weapon, a couple days later, homeboy got another one. Huh. <laughs> But this will only continue if we allow it to. At the end of the day, the power rests with us. The only question is, what are we going to do with it? My time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But this day, just like any other, oh, yeah, I give it to you. You're right. America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you realize he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Either way, <laughs> there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.